today and today I am really excited about today's show because we have not just a guest, an extra special guest here with us. Now he is a young man who speaks his mind. He has a very sensitive palate so when it comes to food, if the food does not taste the way he wants, he will say it. He is very frank. I've known him for a very long time. I've seen him grow into a remarkable young man and I am really proud to call him my son. Welcome Shaquille. Happy to be here. I am really excited to have him in the kitchen now. I have cooked with Shaquille for a long time. Do you remember the very first time you ever cooked with me? No, I don't. He was actually nine years old and the first dish I remember him making was scrambled eggs. And for a nine year old, it tasted great. Of course. <laughs> But today, we're going to be making something a little more challenging than scrambled eggs. We're going to be making fish patties. This dish is great for lunch or for dinner, and it can be made with either billfish or marlin. Shaquille, what is your favorite fish? Uh, my favorite fish is the flying fish. Flying fish. As long as you live in Barbados, you must love flying fish. But it is very expensive. It is a part of our national dish which is flying fish and cuckoo. So all Bajans must love flying fish, but today we will be using billfish to make our fish patties. Yeah, cool. So let's go over the ingredients. We have four steaks of billfish already cooked. I cooked it with some salt, water, oil, and lime. We have three English potatoes already cooked and chopped. We have three sets of sweet pepper, red, orange, and green. We also have onions and chives, and we also have scotch bonnet peppers. Alongside of that would be joy seasoning, salt, um, lemon pepper, and all-purpose seasoning. And here we have thyme. Using fresh thyme always elevates the taste of any dish. And because we're going to be frying it, we have our egg wash, one set of breadcrumbs and flour mixed, and our panko breadcrumbs and oil for frying. Yeah, we call that a double braided method. Our first step in making the patties is to remove whatever bones we have from our fish. And there's also the bits of dry blood that I really don't like. So we're gonna crush this fish. So I'll allow Shaquille to do that. Yeah, you're wearing your gloves already. You're gonna crush the fish. You can use one fork, remove the bones, and we're gonna remove that bit of dry blood and just put it here somehow. I don't like eating that. Once we have our fish already crushed, we're going to add the potatoes. While Shaquille is deboning the fish and removing all the bits of dried blood, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crush the potatoes. And once I'm finished this part and he has finished his part, we're going to mix them all together. It's time to mix our two main ingredients together. So I'll allow Shaquille to mix everything with his hand. And Shaquille, why are you doing that? You recognize that you're wearing a shirt with a letter G. Tell us what this means. Well, that's my business. His name is Guarantees Transport Services. Um, we basically do car rental, taxi, and vehicle registration in Barbados. So that's what G stands for. Because it's a G and a key. Because it's vehicles. So that's why I'm wearing a shirt. Because I'm always in character. You're always in car rental, so guaranteed. So when you want your vehicle, anything to do with your vehicle, guarantee that you can get it done for them. Yeah. Okay, it's looking good. We have everything mixed together. Now I can see you prefer to do it with the gloves on as opposed to using a fork. And he is very skillfully mixing all of the potato and the fish together. Now to wake up this dish, we need to add our seasonings. Now we're going to saute our peppers and onion. It always makes such a difference when you add heat. So should you go ahead and add some more, add some oil to the bottom of the pan? Yep, that's good. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. We'll wait until it gets a little hot. And we always test it by putting my hand right over it. Then I'll allow Shaquille to add the ingredients one by one. And while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and strip the thyme and we're going to add it and sauteing it always wakes it up and it really gives whatever dish a great flavor when you add heat. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add all the ingredients together. So 
protein. Let's make it nice and crunchy. Mm. Now we're going to add the thyme. Thyme always elevates stuff and our dry seasoning. Now whenever you're using fish, I highly recommend you to use lemon pepper. Two for one deal. You get the lemon and you get the pepper. There we go. Now we're going to add our sauteed onion, sweet pepper, thyme and rice seasonings to our potatoes and fish. And because we would have sauteed them, that is one guaranteed way to wake it up. Uh. Some persons could actually just add the onion and sweet pepper without sauteing it, but it makes a difference with the flavor when you add some heat. Now we're going to form our patties. Next step, we're going to roll them into the flour and breadcrumb mix. Then we're going to dip it in the egg wash to seal in that moisture. Then we're going to dredge it through our panko breadcrumbs to give it that amazing crust. Now we'll be ready to fry. This is the last one. Our first batch of patties are done. So Shaquille, bring them. Let's go over to the stove. Now it's time to fry. So Shaquille, go ahead. You are familiar with this part because like I said, at nine years old, you commanded the kitchen by making your own breakfast that day. Now we go ahead, get the oil nice and hot. We may have to add a little more oil there because we're gonna fry these. Make sure the oil is hot because when it's hot, you usually hear that sizzle. So you do this, right? That's right. Of course. So you have been watching me. So once it's nice and hot, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our patties. Now, since you've made this look relatively easy, Shaquille, if you had to make a, a dish to impress someone, do you think this is a dish that you would make? Most definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> if this is not the dish, and you did say you love fish, what dish would you make if you had to impress someone? If I had to impress someone, I would... I think I'd make an egg, an omelette. An omelette? Yes, yeah, because I was making it since I was seven. Oh, you were making an omelette from very young, so you would make an omelette. Maybe I should bring you on here and, and show our viewers how you make this special omelette. Yeah, no problem. Are you up for that challenge? If the video gets over 20 likes. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're not going to put them too close together, but they're looking good. They will fry for maybe two or three minutes on each side. We're going to turn them when they're golden brown. Then it will be time to taste. Fish patties are now done. So we're going to take them out one by one and rest them into a paper plate. Whatever the chef calls it, we call it a paper plate today. <laughs> What this does is this drains out all the oil so we don't be consuming all of that oil in our system because it's not that healthy for us. Alright? So now all of the um, fish patties are now on the plate. So now I'm going to go over here and put it on a more presentable plate. Come with me. So just dab over the fish patties with the tissue just to ensure all the oil is fully drained. We don't want to be biting into no fish patties that have all the oil in our mouth. <laughs> That's not funny. All right. So now that all the oil has been drained out of the fish bodies, we're gonna take a fork now and remove them from the um, as I call it, a paper plate, and put them into a dish. I'm only gonna put two in this one since me and my mother would be tasting these ones. So now, let's taste. Is complete before our honey chili sauce, All sweet right. chili sauce. So, we're gonna just put them on the side. Lovely. Now, if I was a young lady, I would definitely be impressed with this. So, if he does this for fish patties, can you imagine what he would do for an omelette? Stay tuned, and we'll be seeing that one. Let's taste. Crunchy. The panko breadcrumbs gives it a nice crunch. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Let's try again. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Oh, you'll taste the fish. Mm hmm. Mm. I could definitely taste the Scotch bonnet pepper. Mm hmm. The onions and the lemon pepper. That's what stands out for me. I love the texture. The texture. Yeah. Um, out of 10, I would probably give it um, a 3. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Why 8 and not 9 or 10? Fine. I give it a 10 then. <laughs> I give it a 10 because I'm the person that made it. <laughs> I told you he spoke his mind. Delicious. Very hot. Very nutritious. Full of protein, has nutrients. Fish patties, now you need to try it. I want to thank Shaquille so much for being here in the kitchen with me and for showing us how he does fish patties. They taste delicious. Now, if you are interested in having your car rented, if you're in Barbados or you are coming to Barbados, I'm going to link all of his handles to the bottom, his Instagram, his Facebook, so you can reach out to him if you want a car rented or if you want your car registered if you just bought a car you can reach out to him i hope you enjoyed this fish video i want you to look over here and check out my mother's other fish videos i want you to watch them all subscribe hit the notification bell whenever she posts a video i remember to leave her a comment we love hearing from you oh yeah rent a car <laughs>